I've really been enjoying doing my most wanted list videos and I think people are enjoying them as well. That's literally where I break down everything I'm shopping for, everything I'm looking at in terms of picking up new pieces. I talk about the pros, I talk about the cons, and I sort of discuss how likely I am to pick up that piece and where it fits in my wardrobe. I love the idea of talking about specific pieces and what they do in an overall wardrobe and an overall sense of style. So this video is part of a new series that I'm calling Dress Code. In each of these videos, I'll break down a different category of garment or piece of clothing or accessory that will contribute to your style in a certain way. The point of dress code is to give you a guide on how to establish, develop, or refine your personal style. Today we're starting literally from the ground up, we're gonna talk about essential footwear. A lot can be said about what could be referred to as essential footwear. Sneaker culture is huge, there's also classic menswear with more leather-based dress shoes. I like to have five different kinds of shoes in my wardrobe to cover literally everything from workouts to full suits and formal wear. Black tie might be something else, but that's an entirely different realm of tuxedos and even renting them sometimes. We're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna go from athletics all the way up to formal. To start off, we're gonna go with our athletic shoe. This, I argue, is an essential part of personal style. Let me break down why. To me, style is as much about internal confidence as it is about the things you're wearing, the things that you are putting on your body to alter how you perceive yourself or how people perceive you. When I go out on a run, when I go climbing, when I go lifting, I feel so much more centered. It's not even about physical appearance, it's not about fitness necessarily. It's just about taking that time to be with myself and work on myself. My chosen way to work on myself in a lot of instances is fitness. I love pursuing athletic goals like faster run times, longer runs, and getting better at climbing. So training is a wonderful way that I build up my confidence and sense of self by giving myself challenges and allowing myself to overcome them and then celebrating that. The actual style of your training sneakers can matter as well depending on what you want to do with it. This is the Brooks Ghost Max. It's an amazing shoe that was gifted to me by the Brooks team very kindly. My running style is generally monochrome Black. So I love when the whole outfit matches and this plays into that. It makes me feel more confident in my running. I also love to wear my retired running shoes after I'm done running in them and use them in casual outfits. This is gonna lend itself super well to that. And the specific kind of shoe that we're talking about for training could vary depending on what you're doing. If you just climb, climbing shoes are super cool. If you play basketball, there's an amazing wealth of shoes to check out there. If you play tennis, whatever sport you do, whatever activity you engage in, even if it's just walking, I love to use these and other running shoes just to go on walks when I don't wanna run or push my body too hard. All of these recommendations are from my own perspective. And from my point of view, taking some time in my day to to work on myself and get outside, especially being out in nature, that is huge for my confidence and that feeds into my style. So we're starting with training shoes. I think they're essential. Next, working our way up, we have your everyday sneaker. This is something that you're gonna wear for pretty much all of your outfits. I think this might be your most worn shoe out of the five if you structure it this way. I'm a big fan of the Adidas Samba, not because of the hype around the Samba, but because they're based on the original German army trainer. I think the German army trainer is a perfect shoe. It is so ideal. It could look very nice. It could look very dressed down. It's very comfortable. It's very versatile. This sort of white sneaker with the low profile silhouette, very classic look, very retro, I think is ideal. There are numerous other options depending on your personal style. I think Air Force Ones are great if you lean more into streetwear. There are other options of sneakers that are a little bit more dressy if you don't wear casual clothing as much. This is something that I'm talking about. If you're just throwing on jeans and a t-shirt to head out, if you're actually putting something a little bit nicer on but you want to dress down the footwear, these are going to do so much. I went to Europe this past summer and I brought three pairs of shoes. I brought these, I brought a pair of Birkenstock Bostons in black leather, and I brought my pair of running shoes. And that was literally all that I needed. These were everything I needed for most days where I wasn't training or going to the beach. Whatever your preferred silhouette or model of classic, everyday, versatile sneaker is, is your number two shoe. I think it's actually gonna be one of the most important. Moving on up in the scale of dressiness, we have the boot. This one is a little bit dressier than yours might be. I own a ton of boots. I'm an avid boot collector, an avid boot wearer. So by no means do you have to have a nice boot. I'm a big fan of a combat boot, a motorcycle boot, uh, what other varieties do I have? Cowboy boots, of course. This is one that I've chosen to show you in terms of this video because of how versatile it is. This sort of ankle boot with the big heel and the zip up I think is so classy and elegant. But again, the exact variety of boot depends on your personal style and where you want to fit it into your wardrobe. Depending on where you live, this can also be significant. You might want to use your pair of boots to have something sturdier for the snow, for the rain, whatever you might be dealing with. Something that has a big heel and a dressier bottom like this might not be the best for trudging through snow every day. However, a good boot in your wardrobe adds so much functionality and versatility depending on what exactly your needs are. In my mind, the boot should do everything the sneakers can't do. Especially if you're dressing in a classic menswear style, I think having a good boot is just critical. Most of the amazing classic menswear people that dress like that, that I know, 
Wear boots pretty much every day. That is their go-to daily shoe because they're comfy, like a sneaker, functional, like themselves, and they can look just as dressy as a pair of loafers or a pair of lace-ups. That brings us quite nicely to my next recommendation, a pair of loafers. This fulfills the dress shoe role in our five essential shoes. You could do something more like a lace-up. You could do an Oxford, you can do a Derby. I love a good Derby. I'm a fan of the loafer because they are very easy to style with things like jeans or with a full suit. I've even worn them with the tux. Depending on what kind of loafer you have, you can do that. So these can go all the way from your chill everyday jeans outfit all the way up to black tie if you play your cards right. This particular shoe is a little bit more casual than I'd ever dare to wear with black tie, but these I definitely wear to formal events on a regular basis. There are many different varieties of loafer, I just recommend you keep it classic. There are many different kinds of loafers out right now, including platform loafers, lug sole loafers. Those are very cool, but my recommendation is something that's very classy and can be used in a suit or casually. You notice by now that versatility is a big theme for me. My shoe collection, I think at this point, has like 30 pairs of shoes, which is honestly too much. I'm downsizing. But if you're going to limit it to just five that do everything, literally everything from your hikes, your walks, your training, all the way up to wearing a suit, versatility is key. And I know many people have just one or two pairs of shoes and that is more than enough. This list is more for someone who really cares about style and wants to have shoes that can go with any outfit they want and make them perfectly suitable, but still keeping it a relatively lean collection. Because of that, a classic loafer that will never go out of style, that can go with a suit, that can go with jeans, I think it's critical. Another variety of loafer I'd recommend wholeheartedly, maybe even more than a tassel loafer, is a penny loafer. Those are probably the sleekest and nicest everyday option that can go all the way up to being very nice. They're just a little bit more chill than tassel loafers, so if it's your first pair of loafers, I'd recommend starting there. For the final shoe in this five shoe collection, we're going to go with a wild card. When I say wild card, I'm including this intentionally because whatever your specific style is, I think that it's important to have one pair of shoes at least that might be a little bit weird, that's a little bit fun, that gets you excited to wear it. For me, that's a pair of claws. This pair is from Gardenaire. They're beautiful French gardening clogs. Not everyone likes these, but again, that's the beauty of the wild card pick. For me, these are super exciting and fun to wear and comfy, and it's also fun to do something that's a little bit off the beaten path. I could just as easily be showing you a pair of Reebok Beatniks or a Birkenstock Bostons. However, these feel more like the fun vibe that I'm trying to express with the wild card pick. Depending on how you like to dress, other shoes that would fit really well here if you want to go for this are the Adrian Loafer from Doc Martens or any lug sole chunky loafer. You could do another pair of boots like cowboy boots. You could do a sneaker that means a lot to you that's more of a hype sneaker, something very interesting, something very colorful. The point is that as much as shoes should be functional, they should all be exciting to you. But I think it's important to leave space for something that's really funky and fun and different that can challenge you to level up your style and do things in new ways. I in no way mean that you need to go out and buy all five of these kinds of sneakers. This is just where I start. When I'm looking for a new piece, when I'm looking for something interesting, and when I'm trying to revitalize my style, I've had multiple times in my life where my style changes and I need to sort of reset things, I always go back to this list of footwear, this general archetypal list to discover what exactly is exciting to me, what I want to wear, and what feels the most like me at that point of time. Having the guidance of something that I can go be active in, something for every day that's a chill sneaker, something that is a little bit dressier, a solid boot, and something very fun, gives me the versatility to always feel like I'm dressing like myself and to do it in exciting ways and have variety. Another benefit of this five shoe archetypal list is that it's an amazing place to build off of. From those five shoes, if you just go try them on, if you just think about them, if you look at what's out there, or if you own them, you can decide exactly what you like and where your style is going. If you're going a bit dressier, maybe pick up a pair of Oxfords or Derbies or something that's a little bit more on the dressy side of things. If you're feeling more streetwear, if you're getting into sneaker culture, I'd say go pick up an interesting pair of sneakers. Or if you're just funky and fun and silly, like start from here and go buy the mischief boots. I don't know, it's totally up to you. But these are the main categories that I see myself consistently returning to whenever my style undergoes a big change. I hope that's helpful as you establish your own dress code for how you want to style yourself and your wardrobe. The goal here is to communicate my personal dress code so you can apply it in your own way. Let me know what you think your essential set of footwear is, what the specific models are, what the archetypes are, whatever you're feeling, I'm excited to hear about it. And of course, thank you for being here. Have a wonderful day.